everyone, Becca here. It's been a long time since I have uploaded a meditation. I had an international move, so it's time to do one. I'm going to focus on guiding people who are on my fitness team through a meditation today. Um, but this is for anyone who happens upon it. I do believe that the most important part of our fitness should be a visualization and a mental clarity. Um, be clear about what you want. For example, when you go to do a handstand for the first time or before you're comfortable with it. Uh, I learned from the great Keno McGregor a technique to put your hands on the ground and poise yourself mentally and say something along the lines of, I bravely and strongly and with sturdiness rise and lift myself over my strong shoulders fearlessly. <laughs> you say that in your mind and then you go into the handstand. If you don't say that before you go into your handstand, if you don't have that mental visualization and talking to yourself, a lot of the times you'll wobble or waver or your doubt will creep in. Yoga and fitness is such a metaphor for life. And so um, I want everyone who I work with um, in fitness or yoga or meditation or anything to sit quietly with a visualization this evening of what you want for your life. And then I want that to spill into your practice, your yoga practice, your daily practice, your everything, your fitness routine. Every day before you push play or you go for a run or you go for that bike ride or that hike, I want you to close your eyes right before you leave or right before you begin and say to yourself something along the lines of, I bravely and strongly conquer this thing I'm about to do. I'm going to do it with success, more strength than I could imagine. And so when you're doing that in, in fitness, um, you think before you lift a heavy weight or you do a heavy, uh, strong move. I do this with a tall spine, conviction, and strength in my core. That's a great one. And then your alignment is usually better and you prevent injury. It's just the body goes where the mind flows. The mind flows where the body goes. So keep it strong. Keep a visualization. So we're just going to do a short, brief, two to three minute meditation. So I'd like us all to close our eyes. Lengthen the spine. Get a comfortable seat. Let's all take a deep breath in. And sigh it out. and settle in to that exhalation. Eyes are closed with no tension around the eyelids, the forehead, underneath the eyes, the cheeks, soft. But think of the crown of your head. Lengthen it evenly up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the tailbone down below your seat into the earth below your feet or your hips, grow your spine long. Let's take one more deep breath. Try to breathe in through the nose if possible, deeply. Fill the lungs to maximum capacity, then fill them even more. And then sigh it out. <sighs> and at the bottom of that exhalation, just let your breath go. Let it be involuntary. Let it come and go as it pleases. Eyes soft. Forehead clear. Shoulders down. Easy belly. Relax the legs, the hips, 
the ankles and the toes. Let the elbows hang below the shoulders. Let the arms feel heavy and light all at the same time. Let your hands relax, especially where the thumb is rooted into the palm of the hand. Let that be soft. You want to feel your sternum reach up towards your throat, but your diaphragm be soft. Nice, soft belly breath. and come to a place in your mind where you think of your most positive alignment of both your body and the way you want your life to be. Think of both at the same time. Imagine yourself poised in a healthy body, balancing any weaknesses that you might feel with no anger towards your body, no disgust, only love. Any area of your body that has upset you, a, a past injury, an aching shoulder, a weak belly, a sore back, a bum knee, Think about that place of your body. Focus on it strongly. Pointed vision at that part or parts of your body. Could be more than one. Get them in your head. And then feel gratitude. Those pieces of your body have been talking to you. Trying to get your attention. In your mind, say back to those pieces of your body, thank you. I've heard you now. And then send love to that awareness that it's come to your awareness and that you recognize and you're listening to your body or those parts of your body. Send love emanating from your heart to those pieces of your body and just say, I recognize, I hear you, and I love you. But now it's time to bring balance to those areas that have been talking to you. And you are the controller of all of the cells of your body and your mind. So say thank you. I observe you. I love you. And I bring strength and balance to you, those parts of the body that have requested my attention. And now sit with your perfectly balanced body and bring a little bit of heaven into your mind. By just sitting in the middle of a place in your life that you recognize and think about, and a goal that you have, a vision. But let's not think of it as a goal any longer or a vision that's far away. Sit yourself right in the middle of that actually happening. In your meditation, your goal, your vision, 
is your reality now. How does it feel to be sitting right in the middle of that goal? Experience that joy and that feeling for a few moments. Now I want you to feel the strength that comes with knowing that you've accomplished something great, unbelievable. And it's time to dream a bigger dream. Go beyond that dream. And feel it. And own it. Envision it. Take a deep breath. Gently move your shoulders up and down and around. Open your eyes. And please come back to that meditation anytime you need some personal strength. We all need it all the time. Have a good day.